to go back to Iran a little bit, a lot of people question what the role America should play in efforts in Iran. So it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts on how much is too much as far as America getting involved in Iran's politics and government. Um, you know, uh, in I think all not just American government, all the other governments should respect what Iranian people want. And I can't tell if they, you know what we really, I mean, people really, like when they said um, America, America gover American government acknowledged Ahmadinejad as the president, uh, they, all got, they all got mad with Ameri America, the gov government. But um, when I really think about it, and then when we, you know, when you sit down and think about it, it's good that they don't let them get isolated, the government, because then they don't care. Like, they uh, accused me of propaganda against uh, the regime, which means they still care about their international image. Mm -hmm. If, they, they, if they, they get isolated, they don't think, they don't care about this kind of, they don't think how they look, they don't think about the human rights, and everything just gets wor get worse. So, I think, um, Governments and I, I, I think people. I think I don't. I think governments. They just a politics is dirty and they just they're after. They're not after people's interests. So we should support each other. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, like Iranians. What's going on in Iran? What's going on in China? What's going on in Burma? They all affect other the rest of the world. Like we see what happens in September 11. It had nothing to do with. I mean, it was so far away from America, but it was American who paid the price. Mm -hmm. So um, I think people should understand each other. They should understand Iranians. They, sh they should respect what they want. And then with this common understanding, I think then the peace will spread all over the world. And then that's what we want, I guess, all of us. So what is the status of your charges? Uh, you know, uh, I've been released. and. Since the future of Iran is uncertain, I don't, I don't really know. And do you see yourself returning to Iran? Sure, I, I will someday. I'm sure. Where do you feel like you are right now? Do you feel kind of turned away from your work about women in Iran, or has this been a driving force to shoot forward with your work? Uh, you know when. I, uh, I was in prison during one of the interrogations. Uh, one of the interrogator told me, Miss Momini, you have a simple flu. And our duty is to not to um, prevent it from getting a serious disease. And I want to tell you that now I have cancer. <laughs> and um, I think I'm more motivated. I, I feel more responsible, and I, and I think that if, maybe if I would make that documentary, you know, I would just, I'm sure it would be my lifetime uh, concern, but uh, as much as I feel like I want to fight for women's rights, I want to fight for Iranian rights and human rights all over the world, I wouldn't, I didn't, I, I didn't feel the same like a year ago. So I feel more strong and more motivated. And what do you feel about your, about women in Iran right now? You know, one of, one of my purposes in doing my project was um, to let at least American, my, you know, the people around me learn better about Iranian women. Because for 30 years we only heard one voice from Iran and that was the voice that government wanted to export. and. Uh, international media, they, I don't know, they, they wanted or they had to just project that image. Um, so I wanted to show them the other, the other side. Uh, but now after the election with all the videos, I think the whole world see the real image of Iranian women. And, Iranian in this protest and everything, they were the most, they were most, 
they were more active than men. It's just because they had more experience. For 30 years, you know, after the revolution, even before that, they had to fight for, they never stopped fighting for their rights. And with this, uh, with this, um, under Ahmadinejad presidency, they brought this um, moral police to the streets. And they were mainly to control women's outfit and behavior in the society. And then they already, st they started, they have started fighting those. So when the protest started, they, they took a, an important role. And actually women movement and other like student movement, they, they, they put, they shared their experience with this uh, protest too, too because uh, like three years ago, uh, 33 women's activists got arrested because they had a silent protest. They just sat on the floor. They just sat on the street. They were silent. And um, I think those experience behind all this protest lies the experience of women's rights movement, students' movement, labor movement. And final question, what is, what would you want people to take away from everything that has happened to you? I want them to know what people in Iran really think, how it's like we have like powerful women in Iran, we have uh, weak women in Iran, we have pe women who like to cook, we have women who, we have homosexuals, <laughs> we have, I mean, we're humans, like maybe we just look different. And plus, I want to, I know Americans on, on all this green movement, they supported Iran, I mean, amazingly with all, all the artists and everything. And it really affects Iranians' spirit. It really helps them. It really helps you to move on and just continue with that. Okay, thank you so much for your time, Esha. Thank you. Thanks for having me.